Hello and welcome to the video update for the end of the second week of term two, so Friday the 17th of November. I'd like to begin by just paying tribute to the 120 or so students that I met with earlier this week. Uh, and that was to reward them for their amazing attitude to learning in their first set of reports. We selected around 70 students to come and receive uh, hot chocolate and biscuits, uh, a badge, and also uh, a letter addressed to you uh, to recognise their amazing performance in their first set of reports. And they achieved the highest average attitude to learning grades uh, in their respective year groups. But then we also awarded uh, around 50 awards for those students who had the most improved set of attitude to learning grades since the end of last year. So obviously we couldn't do that for year seven and for year 12, uh, but we did do that for all other year groups. It was lovely to spend the time with them. Uh, and if you could uh, just reinforce uh, the messages that we shared with them on Monday and Tuesday this week, uh, a, a really, really good start to the year for them. And it was nice to spend some time with them and just recognize that. Uh, we'll do that again at the end of the next set of reports. One main message on the bulletin from me this week before we move into the work of the week, and that is in relation to GCSE pod. Uh, there's a lot detailed in the written version of the bulletin this week, so I won't go over it in too much detail on the video, uh, but suffices it to say that GCSE pod is a, a free online resource for all students currently in year eight to 11, that will be extended to year seven. Uh, we've got the iPad distribution happening, um, uh, I believe it's this week, uh, but as soon as year sevens have their iPads, then they will be um, gifted the login credentials for GCSE pod. Uh, and that will enable those five year groups to access this amazing resource. Uh, it doesn't replace what we do in the school. Uh, we still obviously have uh, lessons as normal, homework as normal, uh, but it complements that learning and just offers our students the opportunity to receive in bite-sized chunks uh, additional snippets that might enhance their progress and their learning. Um, students are already using it. That is absolutely obvious from the stats that I've put in the, the written version of the bulletin this week. Um, we've got high 90% of students in year 10 and 11 that have watched at least one pod during the course of the last week. Uh, and have attempted some of the questions that follow. So students are definitely using it. So the reason that I've put this on the parent update this week is um, first of all, just to raise your awareness that, that this is available for your child. And then also just to ask for your support in encouraging uh, your children to, uh, to utilize it. Uh, as we move through the year, we'll, uh, we'll have some prizes for those students that are using it the most. Uh, and I will share that with you in due course. And then we will wrap things up this week by focusing on work of the week. Uh, and of the 10 weeks that we've had so far, uh, we received the most entries this week from teaching staff across the school, uh, which was fantastic. Uh, so a really difficult decision. Uh, this week, we have given work of the week to four of our year seven students. Uh, so that is Jay, Millie, uh, Gabriella, and Rafferty. So they were asked by their science teacher uh, in addition to the rest of their class, to go away and research uh, animal or plant cells and to come back with uh, a creation, it's very open-ended, a creation uh, that replicated either an animal or a plant cell, uh, but with some information and labelling to explain the various parts. And I'm sure if you have a look at the written version of the video update and, and there are some images there of what they have gone away and produced, uh, you will be as amazed as I was uh, when I saw this. They've really gone above and beyond and they are worthy winners this week of work of the week. So that is it for this week. I hope you're all keeping well and I look forward to seeing you soon.